fight ain't put up. The more I know about the right side. Wise words, Captain. Last core. The transmission should be dead. No, I'm still reading a signal from the excavation site. The heat signal I saw on A-Day. It caused the earthquakes. Whatever's behind those walls, Modoc doesn't want us to get it. Got bigger problems, Captain. Shit! If you take too long, you died. Beacon must have been a decoy. Somehow Tarleton's still transmitting. You struggle against the unstoppable tide of progress, Avengers. This just got a whole lot weirder. What has happened to his face? You can slow me down, but I have enough mist to blanket the world. Avengers. No more ships make it out of the quarantine zone. <laughs> Tony, take out those thrusters. Thought you'd never ask. Come on, George, you're killing innocent people. No crap, Stark. That's not like you. Might be able to take out his thrusters.
finally. We've got bigger problems. Yeah, on it. You cannot win. playing this hole. And we got down. What's the matter? Oh, well, I'll say it's just for you. Yeah.
Are you really gonna throw shit at me? Okay, he is. Come out of what are you doing? Uh about time.
Yes, you understand. I was supposed to control Terrigen, replace the superpowered. Instead, I created something inhuman. No! This isn't how you make things right! We deserve a chance! I know you think you can use this power for good, but you're no hero. You're just a mistake. The only one left to convince is yourself. Ambigan! Take it easy. Right. Great job. Yeah, we need to work on that passing out thing, but you did good. Indeed. Good. <laughs> that was pretty badass. Thanks. Hey, can you guys give us a moment? Ask you a favor. You know you're grounded till you're 30, yes? Yes. Good. From now on, nothing but school. And your... your special field trips. Really? Oh, Abu! I'm so proud of you, Beta. But, uh, let's not tell Ami, okay? Okay. <laughs> Do we have snacks? Of course. I'm hungry. <laughs>
the newly elected Scientist Supreme, I will weed out the weak elements from within. No more surprises, no more distractions from our goals, only carefully crafted innovation. Make no mistake, AIM is still the future. From cloning to time travel, the possibilities are endless. Now, let's begin. Commander Hill, what's the situation? Good to see you again, Cap. I wish it was under better circumstances, but we think AIM might have a new leader, someone with ambitious plans to expand their operations. Is it really ambition if you have the government and public opinion on your side? We can change people's minds, Tony, even if we have to act outside the law. Well, I do love breaking the rules. S.H.I.E.L.D. is still getting back on its feet, but we've been able to gather intel on AIM's operations. They haven't missed a beat in San Francisco. Here's where it gets weird. Our sources tell us AIM has been experimenting with cloning technology, new synthoids, and we believe they're exploring potential uses of cosmic energy. And here I hoped cloning would be the weird part. The world still needs the Avengers. Maybe now more than ever. You can count on us. Good. If our intel is right, we're gonna need all the help we can get. I've got some field ops lined up when you're ready. The harm room is back online on the lower deck, so you can train up if you need to. We got a big job ahead of us. As the new Scientist Supreme, Monica Rappaccini now directs all daily operations within AIM. SHIELD believes she is spinning up several dangerous new initiatives, but to what end we have yet to discover. Since recovering the SHIELD protocols, our priority is now to help Commander Maria Hill get SHIELD back on its feet. The protocols have revealed the locations of several SHIELD vaults, as well as agents in the field who could use our help. The rest of Fury's vaults are proving to be, well, tricky hey, to locate. We think some of those caches contain coordinates to the remaining ones. Well, how about that, guys? Now we just have a bunch of mission chains to go through. I believe it'd be best if I just did the one I already got started. It looks like we've got more than one spaces to go now. And I don't think there's any changes to that. Now I might as well check out 
all the ones I've completed. I recognize that one. This is the Black Widow one. I get the fists. Make it look like she's got extra arms. Now oh, this is the Hulk one. Maybe not, actually. The Captain America Falcon and the Captain America himself. So two different versions of Hulk, two different versions of Captain America, and this one, two different versions of Hawkeye. Same again. And then here is another two different versions. The one standing up, I'm guessing, is Hulk. The one kneeling down is more like a civilized Hulk, so that must be Banner. And here's other variants. Secret Avengers, Hawkeye, and Black Widow. And then, of course, the Avengers themselves. And it looks like the earliest editions of the characters themselves Thor, Hulk. And Iron Man. Didn't let it change to be what you see now. That's the old edition of Black Panther, I'm guessing. Oh, I can't remember the guy in green. I might as well check the others out. So, undiscovered. And what's this? The Invincible Iron Man. The Captain America series. And that's it for that one. This one? We only got one. Journey to the Mystery. Thor. And I got one for this one. That's another Iron Man. Civil War. Hmm. That's. Ah. Oh. Is that the Empire State Building? An eagle statue of things in New York. Oh, uh, check this one out. The Immortal Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Oh, this 
Must be the Hulk series then. Yeah. Planet Hulk. This must be the Captain America one. Green Goblin beats Murdoch? been selected to work with you have been selected to work with extremely confidential data on the basis of your intellect and abilities new personnel at the Terrigen initiative are expected to be familiar with all prior findings with regard to the experimental regenerative Terrigen hemoglobin catalyst formula henceforth the regenerative formula the company internet has an archive of all previous research the applications will become clear, but for the purposes of security and shareholder obligations, we filter our results. The primary goal must always appear to be the complete cure of the inhuman condition through use of the formula, even if your work takes you in another, more important direction. We at AIM have certain expectations of you. Failure to live up to expectations at this stage puts you in a dangerous position, operationally speaking. You have all been through rigorous vetting. We are working with arguably the most important discovery in the history of scientific inquiry. Do not disappoint. Although we must always acknowledge the loss of human life on A-Day, we have been given an unprecedented opportunity, a large-scale human trial on the effects of exposure to Terrigen Terrigen has an immediate reaction to water, creating a fine particulate mist. For a fraction of human subjects, this Terrigen mist has a profound transformative effect. We have since isolated a mitochondrial DNA shared by this subgroup. Thus far, only those we have dubbed inhuman have entered terrigenesis upon exposure. A closer examination of inhumans is underway, but the early reports are both fascinating and distressing. The genetic distinction in question arise identically from multiple geographically diverse populations. I've tightened the security on these reports, but it seems almost inescapable. At some point in the past, someone or something did this to us on purpose. Our understanding of terrigenesis continues to increase, with certain commonalities being identified. All inhuman subjects form a protective cocoon around their bodies during the process, though the structure is more akin to a chrysalis. I'm afraid the catchier name has stuck. The gestation period varies wildly, and the mortality rate is still high. But surviving subjects emerge changed, and from there, no two metamorphoses are identical. There also appears to be a psychosomatic component to the mutations, a connection between the consciousness of the subject and the change. Work with the regenerative formula on Project Adaptoid advances in parallel with great strides being made in the mimicry of inhuman abilities. That research group must remain isolated from the rest and away from any diagnostic equipment that would allow study of the regenerative formula itself. This level of secrecy is prohibitive to progress, but the composition of the formula must remain known to me alone.
The inhuman death rate is concerning, but more worrying is the apparent correlation between the subject's desires and their individual manifestation post-terogenesis. The more a subject is aware of the program and its risks, the more likely their enhancements will assist them in escape or resistance. We must be cautious. Keeping subjects isolated and ill-informed is the smartest approach. It's also becoming difficult to keep George unaware of the regenerative formula's importance in our research or in his own treatment. Without it, his condition would be terminal. But the formula allows me to direct the course of his transformation, and he remains my most important subject. He would kill me if he learned the truth. So many little calculated risks, but nothing else matters besides the work. We're on the event horizon of nothing less than total human evolutionary apotheosis, or extinction. Someone has to be the adult in the room and make... Well, guys, at the end of this video, you'll be seeing this, but as you can see here, my recording stopped right about here in the video, which basically I was just listening to some of these playbacks. So, <clears throat> not really much to it really, it's just information, if you guys wanted to, you know, know more about this backstory, um, I'm sure there would be probably a website where you can go to to search all these up, or maybe the just maybe on someone else's channel or if you ask me I'd be more than happy to go on to Avengers and just play most of the audio and let you guys pause the video and read some of these as you see here but it allowed you to get to have a look at seeing this so this is gonna be quite a long video because you know it's the finale but anyway guys I hope you enjoy this walkthrough I certainly did let me know on what you think of it let me know what you want me to improve on but if there's anything I need to improve on is a lot actually what I'm hoping for is the more people watch my videos the more I'll improve my video quality because sadly I'm a bit scarce for time when it comes to editing videos and uploading them see I'll tell you one thing right here an hour long video I have to cut down yeah like use that I have to cut down just so that I can actually fit it in a reasonable length video now I will say I'm still new to all these editing software I'm not, I'm not the best I admit that I'm not the best <laughs> anyway like after this I have to render it which on PlayStation it's triangle because you know it's it'll take forever yeah it will literally take forever as and that would be pretty much the same length of the video so I, I need to stop talking because otherwise this is going to be a very very long video so if you guys enjoyed like always hit that like button press that notification bell as soon as you click on that subscribe button 
drop down a few comments. It's, it's up to you. Which many people would. And of course, as always, see you guys in the afterlife. Bye-bye.